Okay, there we go. That's the deer loin. Hey guys, welcome back to Idaho Family Outdoors. We're back out here. This is day two. If you saw from that video, we end up getting a little impatient. Didn't see any bucks out. So I figured I'd just get it done. We took a doe. So we're back out here. Never did retrieve my arrow last night. So I wanted to take a quick hike out here and see if we can't find it. Welcome to Idaho Family Outdoors. Or one that way, right? It was just if we if we followed this fence line, we'd only have to crawl across one. So we just got to follow this path around the hill, because then we just have to cross that one right there. And I think, yeah, I think once if we stay on the fence line, it won't be bad hiking. Okay, you're gonna go down. Just climb all the way down underneath. There you go. Daddy and I, you have to go. There's the arrow. Yeah, because I was looking and I was lining it up with that hill right between these two bushes. Yep. Covered in blood. Mm-hmm. That was a fun hike. Well, guys, yeah, we got down there and lined up the shot, and yeah, the arrow was sticking right in the sagebrush, right where it should have been. Last night, I must have got my angles wrong, and where I thought it would have went, it wasn't, and then we lost our light. We wanted to get this deer back to the house. So, yep, found the arrow. Definitely, it was a lung shot. We could tell that from the deer last night. She was all bubbled up and frothy with blood, but she didn't go too far. She only moved. 100, 150 yards from where I shot her. Deer, do you like deer? Yeah. Mm hmm. What kind of seasonings should we put on the deer? Um, Some salt? Salt and pepper. Uh huh. And what else is our favorite seasoning? Some garlic. Garlic. And onion, onion powder. Powder. Yeah. Okay, should we go cut off some meat? We're gonna cut some some loin off that deer. Slice right along this loin. Get all the way up here. The end. Go. Slice it all the way down to the spine. And just kind of pull away. Get on the inside. Follow the spine right there. Okay, get it loose and then you just keep cutting all the way down. Right out. Don't tear it up too bad. Okay. There we go. That's the deer loin. The loin. You can see it's all bloody. So we want to we want to clean it all off in the water. Get it, get it all nice and clean. And then the water turns dark red. 
Yep, I want to get rid of all the little deer hairs and stuff. <laughs> deer hairs. I like the deer hairs. And there's this film, kind of a membrane. Okay, and you're going to sprinkle salt all up and down the meat. Hold it up a little bit higher. A ton of pepper. Yeah. So we'll just sprinkle a little bit like this. Okay. And then I can do these too. Yep, get the one that says garlic. Okay, and give it a light sprinkle. Don't turn it all the way upside down. You just want to shake it a little bit until stuff comes out. Yep, all over it. Is that good? Right here a little bit maybe. On this side. There you go. Okay, that's good. And now do the same thing with the onion. Okay. There you go. All over it. Perfect. Okay. Just kind of give it little dribbles. So it's tilt it so you see the liquid. See the liquid pour out? It'll pour out that little hole. So, yep, just give it some. There you go. All the way down it. Go all the way down here. Quick. There you go. That's it. Okay, and then Daddy. all this will be on the paper and then we can get it'll be on the other side too see so now we gotta get the barbecue secret to deer is do not overcook it so we want the hottest flame the hottest flame possible and we are going to throw it on here and cook it for a very quick amount of time like i said before we want a very hot grill we're looking at it right now we're about 425 on the temperature so we want that we want the grill plates smoking hot before we put this meat on we want a good sear out of back because it's not going to be on on the grill for very long it's only going to be for a few minutes just to bring up temperature okay we're about 450 pushing 500 degrees as soon as it hits five then i'll go ahead and slap that meat on there Okay. Okay. Just gonna spruce up these green onions. We're also gonna just lay these green onions right here on top. And we're going to grill them with the, all these herbs right on top of the meat. And then they'll kind of just burn off, fall off, whatever once we flip it. But this will infuse the flavor, at least in this side of the... The only problem with loin, it's very lean meat. You get a very, very little flavor. It's with most animals, filet mignon, same way. You get very little flavor from the meat because it is so lean. doesn't have that fat with the flavors. So we have to add quite a bit of flavor to the meat. And once again, like I said, do not overcook. Even a medium rare is borderline overcooked for tenderloin. That's important, you wanna hear that sear when it hits the grill. So we're gonna put that on. Go ahead and just let it sit for a bit. I check the temperature every time I open it before I even flip it, know where we gotta be. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and flip that over. Okay, so we let the meat rest for a little bit. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut it. Now with loin, you got long, the fibers and the muscle are real long. They come down this way. 
So you want to be able to, you want to cut that against the grain. And I like cutting it on a little bit of bias here. You get a little bit bigger pieces. And it'll seem a lot more tender when you cut it across that grain like that. And of course, the shape of these, your inside's always going to be a little more rare. The outsides are going to be more of a medium rare. So we're going to see a little bit of that pink, red in the middle. Just a little bit of char on the outside. Okay. And then we have it. Okay, so now we're going to try it out, Gabbers. What do you think? I'm going to go first. Okay. All right, this is your fork. Okay, which piece do you want to pick? Do you like it lots of red or not so much red? You want to do lots of red? Here, let me, let's put it up here. Is it good? Okay, now Daddy gets a piece. I want that one. Can you, can you taste the, the basil? That's green onion. I don't taste the basil. Okay, turn around. It just has a little bit of spice. A little bit of spice? Is it good? Get off of it. You got it. Those are a piece I already cut for you. You like deer meat? Fresh right off the animal. Right there. Oh, where is the sauce? It's so soft. Hey. How is it? It's delicious. <laughs> what do you think, Mama? It's delicious. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, I hope you guys all enjoyed this uh, little video we did, a little catch and cook on that deer. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.